Hi, the Illusion Dispeller again here. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about some steps you can take to start your healing process after the abuse from a narcissistic parent, mother, um, mentor, pastor, teacher, friend, whatever. The next thing you want to do is realize that you are not evil for not feeling love towards this narcissist. It's hard to love somebody that's abused you, and it's normal to feel that you don't love them. That will come after you heal and you forgive, and that takes a long, long, long time for some situations. It depends how badly you were abused. It, it depends on your perception of it. It depends on how you handle abuse. It depends on your own self-worth. I know there's parts of me that are not healed yet. I'm going to openly admit it right here and now. I am not healed over the abuse I went through. I still feel anger. I still feel hurt. I'm still trying to forgive. I'm still trying to love. I'm still trying to believe and hope the best. And as I said on my other tape, the only thing that brought that out, that it was still there, is that I had contact with these people because I asked for my name and my comments to be removed from a website that they own. And it brought out a lot of hurt. And I'm still working through it. But I am working through it. So realize that you're not evil for having feelings. Feelings are okay. And a mother that is a narcissist is not a good mother. It is not the mother that you should have had, period. So if you're angry about that, it's okay to be angry. It's not okay to take revenge. But it is okay to feel angry about that. Because that was not God's best for you. Okay. Stop apologizing for your existence. I can't tell you how many people I have met that have been abused by narcissists or brought up by a narcissist or two narcissists that feel they have to apologize for having an opinion or for just existing. You don't need to apologize for existing on this earth. You have every right and reason to be here. Don't apologize. Stop saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ad nauseum for everything you do and feel. You have a right to your feelings. You have a right to your opinion. And it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Learn that it's okay to enjoy life. It's all right to say you're happy. It's all right to wear a funny face, like a clown face, or a butterfly, like I wear. It's okay. It's okay to wear makeup. It's okay not to wear makeup. It's okay to be you. Now, I do have standards and morals according to my belief system. I don't like seeing women with their cleavage showing. I don't like seeing women with their skirts hiked up over their behinds. I think there's appropriate ways to dress that don't lead people to think things about you. Um, that's my opinion, and I'm keeping my opinion, but that's me. But at any rate, don't let a narcissist tell you how to dress, how to act, what to say, what to do. Don't become somebody's doormat or slave. That is not God's plan for you at all and enjoy your life. Find out what you like to do. Okay, um, work on your body image issues. Perhaps you had a narcissistic mother that put you down um, for being too fat, so you became anorexic. It's time to say, okay, that was about her, not me, and I have a right to be healthy. It's not about being thin. It's about not being in control. So deal with your control issues, get the help you need, and find out how to be a healthy person. Because your health and your life depend on it. You don't do anybody any good dead. So please, if you're having an anorexic or bulimic problem because you were raised by a control freak, narcissistic parent, or you fell in with narcissists in some way, shape, or form, please get the help you need and become healthy again. Okay? You're, you're worth it. To me, if nobody else, you're worth it to me and to God. Okay. Decide to limit and or cut off contact with this narcissistic person. It's okay to say no way. <laughs> That's what I always tell everybody. It's okay to say no way. No more. You're not going to abuse me anymore. I don't have to go and visit you at your house. I don't have to feel guilty if I don't visit you. I don't owe you this. I will be kind to you. I'll be civil to you. I will try to be godly to you. But I do not owe you the right to control and dominate and abuse me. Because that's not what Jesus died for. That's not why God came uh, into this world in the form of his son to give you life abundantly and then have you be abused and be somebody's doormat and slave. No, not happening. So take back your authority over your own life.
that God has given you and say, no way, you're not doing it anymore. So only you can decide the measure that that takes, whether you cut off total contact with the narcissist, or maybe you're married to them and you can't do that, or you just emotionally detach from them. Sometimes that's a healthier um, alternative and a more reasonable one. In my next um, tape, I'm going to be talking about a couple different types of narcissistic mothers. I'm going to get into specifics about that. So stay tuned for my next videos, and God bless you. Have a great day.